in this video I'm gonna show you a nasty bump with a channel adapter. So you see right now we are charging on uh, this 50 kilowatt DC fast charger and we are using this channel adapter, right? Uh, so the Tesla can charge on it, which is great, but there is a way for you, anyone, to stop the charging. And then, so it, it's really easy for uh, a Leaf or whatever car that needs a charge mode, up, uh, ch charge mode plug to just snatch that plug, uh, stop charging, and then plug it in. And that is without using that emergency stop. Because, you know, there's a, I heard a story about, um, there was this uh, Hyundai Ionic owner, right, in that group. He posted that uh, he, uh, he started charging his car, his Ionic. And then he went inside the restaurant or whatever, and then when he came back, an e-golf has grabbed, has taken the plug. So the way he, the, that e-golf owner did it was he had to press the red button and then twist it, take it out again, and then wait for, wait about uh, a few minutes for, for the whole charger to reset. And then, you know, well, and, and as soon as the, uh, it's like, I think it's like a safety feature that if the, yeah, of course it is, but if the power goes out, then uh, the, ch the plug unlocks so that's that's the way you know they had to use it but they do it but uh, it's a little bit cumbersome because uh, after it powers out you have to wait several minutes before you can plug in your car and start charging but this method I'm going to show you <laughs> is instant so see right now we're charging you can see it here we're charging and uh, also this one uh, this one indicates that uh, the plug is locked so you you cannot unplug you see it's locked to the to the adapter yeah uh, but of course right now the car is unlocked because I have the key here um, so if I press the button on the adapter it will release it will stop everything so um, that works as intended so we have to get this key away so that the car won't detect it let's put it somewhere hmm. Right, so you see, now when we try to press uh, the handle, nothing happens because the car is locked, that's good. So, oh, well, a, a leaf came, all right, that doesn't matter. Um, all right, so here you see that um, it's blinking. After a while, it will dis disappear, but uh, the car is locked. And you see now, this one is locked, right? So if I try to unplug here, I can't do that. Um, so this plug is, Lock to the charge mode adapter, but I can do this. Hold down this button. There, and then disappears. Yeah. So uh, you cannot steal the adapter because the adapter is still locked to the car. But this one is now free. So you know uh, any other car that uses a charge mode can then plug in and then start charging. So this way is much faster than using that emergency. Uh, button, but you know what? Uh, there is um, there is actually um, a firmware in this adapter, and Tesla they have a device at the service center, so they can upgrade the firmware here. So I hope Tesla will fix this uh, because uh, you can only you can change this. So to the adapter can check that okay, you press this button, but the car is locked. All right, I will just keep charging. Because if you try the same thing on the supercharger it won't work. You cannot just disconnect as a supercharger. I already tried that, of course. Uh, but here, this is a pretty nasty bug. I don't know. This adapter is old, so I'm not sure if it has the latest firmware. But either way, you know, if Tesla fixed this, great. If not, uh, then if you have an old adapter, maybe you should get it fixed. Um, yeah. So uh, uh, I think that's it for now. I hope this video was useful for you. And if you, have a, if you see some people using the adapter, uh, and the Tesla, and you're a Tesla hater, then this is the perfect way to piss them off, but uh, you might get some hate back again. Yeah. So, uh, talk to you guys later then.